All right, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. <coughs> Sorry. My name is Basilisk, and I'm still your host, so let's get started. In the last episode, we... <sighs> I've been recording too much, like my voice is starting to give out. Um, in the last episode, we made our way through Gusty Gulch, and in this episode, we're going into Tebble Blubba's Palace. So let's go into Tebble Blubba's Palace. And that's really just fun to say, Tebble Blubba. Oh, right. All right, let me introduce you to the gimmick of this dungeon. Come here, you! Bo will tell. So, in order to avoid getting tossed out on your fat Itali Italian arse, you need to be able to turn invisible. Key over there, so we can't go that way. Sod off. Both of you! <laughs> they have a limited range, though, so they won't chase you all over the place. Right. Now, this is kind of funny. Doing. Uh, you can get that badge, don't worry. We'll be getting it later, in fact. I just can't get it now. Let's see if I can, yeah, okay. Now, you remember there was a boo who told us about keeping silent? If you want to, you can walk right by these guys without taking a point, without waking them up. You can also walk right up to them and smack them. Or hit them with one of your special abilities. Now, these guys, I'm pretty sure, having their spikes up like that, um, makes them, gives them that spike quality, like spike goombas, you know what I mean. Paddle for me! I really need to find a heart block. Eight attack power, yeah. These guys kind of hurt. Or, sorry, 8 HP and 3 attack power. What am I on about? Yeah, these guys actually aren't the biggest threat. Ugh. Let's see. Now, then, like I said, I'm pretty sure these guys are spiked. But let's find out for sure. Oh, no, they are not. Okay. I guess all those spikes on that ball are just for decoration. Then yeah, I do still have all three attack FX badges equipped. I'm gonna get some mileage out of them. I'll probably de-equip them at some point, but I might not. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Hmm. I have no FP. <sighs> yeah, I need to make the most out of my easier to use action commands right now because uh, I can't afford not to get full damage. Oh. I know there's a heart block in here somewhere, don't worry. Ow, me. That's no good. This is a good... This is as good a time as any to use Refresh. My power shell. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this guy off. Oh, nice. I'd have preferred an experience boost, but whatever. So, these guys actually give decent experience.
Huh. Alright, let's pop in here. Alright, I think the only thing to note in here is this star piece. But I want that experience point. The experience point's over there, so. Oh, really? I can't? Oh. <laughs> that is honestly one of the best first strikes you can get in the game is if you can nail them with Bombette's bomb attack. Just because it counts as a free FP use. And the more you upgrade it, the more damage it will do. I do think you get a party member that can heal you, but it's not until much later in the game. And I know you get a better heal, Star Spirit. Alright, next room. Yeah, you can't get that star piece until later as well. Alright. Ah! I tried. Going to run low on FP and FP, and now I'm out of star points. This is not good. Yeah. Ugh. We will be upgrading Bo before we leave this uh, Tubbo Blubba's palace, by the way. I like how well my HP is getting in this. Get rid of you. I might have to avoid fights for a bit until I can find a star block. Or I might actually have to use a healing item, you know? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, what? Alright. Woohoo! Danger Dodge, coming through for me! Most wonderful sound in the game, that do that dodge sound effect. Alright. Well, I have for HP restoratives. I don't wanna! I'm not in a boss fight! Ugh. Right, you can hear the bad guys upstairs. Ooh, okay, here's how we're gonna take care of this guy. Come on, come, Bombette! Ah! Poop. Did you get caught on the... Okay. Dang it! Away! Gotcha! I suppose I'm being kind of silly about this, but still. <laughs> so close! No, no, what am I- What am I even so close to? What am I saying? I don't know. Oh, boy. Okay, I think what- What I think I'm saying is that I'm really close to a, uh, heart block. In fact, I believe it's in just the next room. Or that might be a super block. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I was nowhere near- on bed. <laughs> what do we got here?
Hmm, we'll save that. I know we have to go down there at some point, but let's save it for now. I want to head this way. There don't appear to be any sleepers here. Just patrol guard, patrol bots. So, let's arm up Bo. Fuck off. Ah, super block. Okay, we'll take this. That's nice. Well, I can only upgrade Bo. This is the only super block in the area. We're not actually going to run into one until the next chapter, so. But yes, Bo is upgraded to super rank. Um. In addition to now doing a ton more damage with her slappy hands, so much so that she just became our default party member, um, she also learned Spook, which will scare off enemies. And no, I never use it. Whoa! What are you doing here? Ha ha ha! Finally! I knew I was close to one. What are you doing here, buddy? Right. Gotcha. Well, ah, computer! Stop beeping at me. It's annoying. Yeah, he's right there. We can't actually do any damage to Temple Blubba at this point. Yeah, no point to fight, no point to getting caught there. All right, now that we have some health and FP to work with, geez, that was a nasty, that was a nasty opening stretch to this dungeon, wasn't it? Let's move on. Now, naturally, you still want to try and blow these guys up with Bombette to open up to open with, but which is a lot easier to do when they're asleep. Go, my explosive minion! And I'm not gonna... Uh, well, I might show off Spook on the... Yeah, I know when I'll show off Spook. Oop. But for now, let's see if I'm right about Bo's damage increasing. I think I am. No, no, I am not. Huh, she does not get a damage boost. Interesting. Although I think she got an extra bit I think she unlocked an extra hit for, but I could be wrong. Oh well. Well, she is not our main party member because I was wrong about her damage increase, but still. We now have a fully upgraded team of Mario Party or er, Mario Parties partiers. Wow, I just completely... Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's power bomb this. I have the experience for it. I have the FP for it. Maha! experience right on what well, we will hit level 11 before the end of this while we're in here as you might be able to guess all right let's grab that chest which contains a castle key which opens a locked door in tubber blubber and tubber blubber's castle fun to, still fun to say all right let's whack this let's whack this heel block and get to going we need to get to the other side of the foyer and while it might be tempting to just let the guard here catch you and throw you out, um, I think enemies respawn if you get caught. So, and we will be coming back to this side of the to this side of the castle at some point. So, 
not worth it. Yeah, we will because we got to get that, get the two star pieces in here. Uh, let's go. Let those guys go back to their vigil. Unlock the door with the castle key and head on through. Bring out Bombette, see if I can... Oi! You're not very bright. Come here! Finally! I should probably stop trying so hard to get that, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to power bomb because this is because it's fun to watch everything blow up. And we won't quite get the level up this fight, but we'll get it the next one. In fact, we'll be one short unless I get that um, experience boosting uh, mat spell. Yep, one short. Okay. Hard. No, I believe there's one more guard in this room. Yeah, I see. Ah. Why do I care so much? Come here! <laughs> I'm gonna do this anyways. I just realized we have over a block of health. Of uh, FP. Star points. My star gauge is over a point is over a point full. Wow, I can't tonight. I can't talk tonight. Today. Oh boy. Whatever. I only need two. And we are level eleven. Let's boost that F let's boost that BP. Mm. Now we come to the tricky thing. Let's take a look at our badges. I can get, um, I can equip either of these two, the spare FP plus badge, HP and FP plus badges, but I don't really think I need that. Um, I could save up for power plus, which is actually kind of tempting, or I could get, um, yeah, or I could get damage dodge, which is also really tempting. Let's, all right, yeah, we're going to get damage dodge. Um, what else do I have equipped? Dodge Master, yeah. Close call, yeah. Chill out, I'm not that fussed about, honestly. I do want to equip, keep Dodge Master. I could de-equip uh, Chill Out and Close Call, because I don't get hit by first attacks very often. I'm not likely to fall into danger. No, we're going to keep these for now. Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. And it's a good thing I did, because that would have been a, a first strike right there. Let's blow these guys up. I watch them give only one experience now. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's talk about my build really quick, because I've been meaning to do that. Yeah, only one experience. Overleveled. <laughs> Those goons outside aren't going to drop anything now. Jeez! Nah. And I'm not going to power charm my way through them either. I need to practice that block. Um, but... You'll notice I don't ever equip anything that boosts, Ma that gives Mario extra attacks for his jumper or, ham or his hammer. There are plenty of badges that will do that, but 
I feel like turning Mario into a damage dealing powerhouse kind of takes the focus away from the party members and also I think decreases the variation you'll see throughout the game because they, your party members between them cover a lot of different specialties. It is possible to have Mario cover all of those himself. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, that was stupid. That was stupid, stupid, stupid. But it is possible to have Mario cover all of those advantages, all of those areas himself. But I think this is a really bad idea because, like I said, it takes variety away from the game. Plus, since Mario is also the only party member you have <sighs> that can take damage, I feel it's better served to turn him into a defensive tank, which is what I'm ultimately doing. As well as an FP carrier, I suppose. Lots of HP and FP. Plus, lots of things to reduce the damage you can take, plus quick change. Alright, I'm going to save the game here and end this episode off. In the next episode, we will continue through Tumble Blubba's Castle. In the meantime, this has been Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Thank you, and good night, folks.